today in this lecture we are going to learn how to render our building with Atlantis Studio this design that we did we're going to render it with Atlantis Studio so to do that this is what we're going to do we're going to export this design so but I want to use the original file this is how you guys I will open the original file that also had git and the rest so this is it so since I'm taking this design to Atlanta this studio I may not be needing these trees these ravi trees but there are trees there Sure, sure. Yeah. Good. So when when you have this, after you have installed Atlantis Studio and the plugins, you come to Add-ins, Export, Atlantis Five. They go to where you are saving this job. I can now save it here, or you can rename it. I just save it there. Okay. So you now locate Atlantis on your system. That's Atlantis on my system. Or oh, when when you go there and click. It will automatically open Atlantis. Same, but since I have other versions of Atlantis and I want to use this very Atlantis 5, I want to open it and then get it from. So, this is the environment of Atlantis 5. These are the old jobs I rendered with it. So, I'll click on this Atlantis sign, then I'll click on open, then I'll click on Atlantis document. So now go go where I save the job and then I'll left click on this Atlantis to open it. Good. So this building has opened in Atlantis. I'll do a little introduction as we walk with it. So here this is perspective. Here it's object here it's healthiness and here is lights here is shaders okay so all of them as we proceed when you activate one you can be able to edit based on that very one yeah so I forgot to delete our car and in that side but you can see even my person I forgot to delete them so I'll re-import it I don't want them I'll import the building I'll delete it and delete this so that I can do my reimporting export let me So I'll open this very one. Good. There are no more there. Okay. So this is what we have here yeah so as I was saying we have perspective object heliodons light shaders okay yeah so the first thing I do is when I open Atlantis 
I'll open my 2D view. This where I can when you left click there, you now have your 2D view. So in this 2D view, I'll because sometimes when you import your Atlantis, this how it comes. So empty. Ah, you begin to wonder what is wrong. You can think maybe your Atlantis is not good. So if you have this issue, you come to perspective. So where there is none here, you left click and activate Revit. So you now have it. Then you see activate your 2D plan. So you now it might it might come in and it may be looking like this. So it's left for you to set your angle, set how you want it to be. So you click on this 2D. It's right now in on 2D paper as a top view. This one's at the right view. Uh -huh. So now you can left click at this red dot here. You hold it, drag it down. You are trying to set an angle. Good. But you want to go inside. So you come back to the floor plan. Then you left click this where on perspective, trying to set camera. On perspective, you drag it inside drag it inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll move this one left click and move this way mm -hmm. yeah sure okay I can left click here and drag here. I can zoom it in and zoom it out. This thing can also do the same job. And then you also activate your focal point. Then you also activate your ground. Those places that were black has been changed to that. So let's see. I can drag this here, this way. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's say I like this view already. I'll save it. I'll duplicate it. Good. Can I see? So this very second one, I can be able to change it. Also get another view. Then under these elevations here, you also edit in elevations too. The click you drag. I'm moving it up. You can bring it closer. The focal point. I have that. Something of that nature. Something of that nature. Okay. Good. They say I love what I'm seeing there. I can see add another camera. Yes. So the next thing I will do is let's say I want to apply materials. So I'll come to shaders. I will click on shaders. So now shaders will now give me the permission to apply materials. You can this is your sample size, you can zoom it in, zoom it out, good, good, nice. So now, when you activate your shader, and you left click any color here, it shows here, so that you can be able to, to give it anything you want. 
let's say that is what I want there I drag it to the white side okay and my and maybe this I want to put grass so this very place here display natural shaders I've left click the type of grass I want and drag it inside the site good so floor shaders when I left click on floor shaders I have that or exterior shaders good I can be able to drag any of these inside outside of my interlock yes whoa, whoa. there are other interlocks there are pictures you can also download pictures and take it inside this software as we proceed I'll show you you can move this thing closer and select this that window frame or maybe I want to change it to white or black uh -huh. I can still select that change it to black uh-huh okay then under this very icon you scroll this side to find gra glass mirror so maybe I want this wants to be mirror but they are so transparent right now good something like this probably maybe I want something like this depends on what you are trying to achieve you play with it to get what you are trying to achieve then inside here if it's you play with it you you get what you are trying to achieve then okay you can get like ties drag this is on the bricks yeah there are many types of bricks then on the bridge you can see it's get roof you drag the roof up there the way when you you hold it you drag to the place you want and drop remember we're on the shaders and we are editing all these things on the shaders editing all these things on the shaders so we can now here I want to bring let me look for ties and put here can we see get ties here I think I can get ties here yeah. any type of whatever you want maybe I want that there okay alright nice alright so now I can bring I can go to my system I get the materials some materials are downloaded online where you have something like this that you downloaded on online some of these line materials and you want to take it into your Atlantis is all you need to do is left click bring it here left click drag and you drop when well, I drop but it's just one side so what I'll do is I will click on this dimension then tell it to go left and right both all the directions if the scale is not enough for you you increase from here 
yes you increase from there we are still under shaders but you can see here how it is it's make this pattern that i don't like so i'll come here it's on vertical let me change the horizontal and see yes the problem has been solved so i now have that there okay we are making progress yeah so on that maybe i want to copy what is here to here i don't want to go that so i'll, I'll left click auto i'll hold auto then i will i will hold on auto but then i'll left click this material and drag it to this one yeah so yeah so i'll change it to what i want so that is basically it we want to take this thing a bit far to see what we've been doing even outside the gate you can come outside the gate and also edit whatever you want to edit so like these views when you go back to perspective you can assess your view this is our first this view that we snap this side okay you can always set your view so after applying your materials here is display people you can also drag someone inside or if you know how to photoshop you can also photoshop people into your background on the trees and you can also the beauty of this you can also insert these things in your 2d floor plan here all you need to do is left click drag and drop you can see it here you left click hold drag in and drop then you can then but when dragging trees when dropping trees always good to be on object so that you can be able to eat them now that I'm on object, I can be able to edit the height. See, height has been activated. I'll drag to the height. Then here, use heliodons or season. Yeah, so you play with it. If you bring a tree and it's not looking what you have, you can. Here, you can change the the year, the time of the year, and uh, get the color of the tree at that particular time of the year. Uh, Helidons, now this one is automatic, it gives you what it gives you. Good. So you can drag these trees, but you can download more trees from their website Atlantis 3D Objects. You just Google Atlantis 3D Objects, they can take you there. You can get trees and the rest, and cars. I have a car here you can drag so you can drag it and drop inside your project okay we're making progress so now under heliodions you can come to here see this the clouds you can left click on the clouds then you act you can click yes and then you activate your clouds you can now open this cloud and play with it maybe you don't like what is there you can play with these things here to give you exactly what you want yeah when you're done you can click ok ok and then the sun direction the one we are using now is 22nd 08. Maybe you can move this 1307. These are your days of the month. Uh -huh. How the sun is. The second one is.
and this one is just time of the day 12 o'clock and then this second one and then the city Boston then this second one now you you turn the song yourself and drop it where you want it how you want it you control the shadows yourself control the shadows myself right now maybe I love that I'll drop there then this one now just give you angle 45 direct you don't do anything there yeah so that is that above that so you can move your camera see can move this under one of these views you can take these up take these down you keep playing with it so you get the immediately you get the camera right you have solved most of the problems so you apply all the materials at the places you want to apply this okay good uh, that is the advantage I'm taking this down yeah so you can render this view you can put more trees so the way that I brought some material Okay, so, but if you want to edit any of them, you have to be under. Take your time and do that. To copy any of this, it's not that hard. You just left click on auto and you drag to where you want it to go. No, I mean you hold auto on your keyboard. Then you'll be left clicking and dropping. So let's say we have so we can we can save can be saving this design always save it's very very important to save so let's say so let's say you downloaded some Atlantis materials on the rest you can see when you open it I have many of them here cars
we come back and check the properties it's about one gig plus let's say on the cars not everything you use but you can drag one of these on the object you can drag one of these cars inside let's take a look yeah or sometimes you can even drag it why is it okay this let me delete that let me try that again because you come to perspective and move move my camera inside across the exterior line so let, let me delete let me delete what is here let me delete this That car there. Can be able to preview what is here. So maybe I'll select this BMW and now continue. Drag it inside. Move it here. And then I can left click here and rotate it. I can drag it to the position that I want. So on the shaders, when I click this BMW, I can be able to play with it, finesse, play with the color and the rest and stuff like that. All these, all these ones, these are the exterior cars that I downloaded online. Songs, songs are, songs are for those that use Photoshop. You can just Photoshop people inside, then PNG, then their pictures, then. Yeah, for Photoshop users, bamboo. So it's a flower. Imagine that you also need an external flower. You can also drag a flower inside. Let's drag. Let's drop it in 2D and see. This very place. Well, go. It's better to be on on the object so that it can be edited. So you can see this flower there. I just drag that flower there. On the Y, I can change the height, let's say to 30. Uh -huh. Then I'll hold my auto and copy it. Marbles, marble ties. If you need something like this, you can apply it. These are the new material. So that is it about that. So, so on that, so that you can explore most of these things here.
zero object you see any use for anything you drop it's not everything that you use at the time well it depends on what you are working on drop a light there you can move it this side to under object you can be able to move it to any direction you want I'm saving your job our option depending on your system this is to maximize my power okay. so maybe if you like this like what you have here you can render it before you, if you want to render under perspective you can see settings where you can set do your settings then go back and do editing if i want to render straight i'll just click on picture there under anti-leasing i'll activate it and change here to high then resolution let me i can try 200 would be perfect now i can move this twice to have this okay then long range i'll move it like this something of this nature then here browse here it is where you save my users their document online lessons then you produce this name if you add something here that is a name that is going to save it or you can go there and re-edit the name or you can re-edit here after this dot before this dot png or you can click on browse then come here and edit it like you can put another name front 3D depends on what you want so then you just click on render to so give it time to render Pause. It says doesn't take much time. Relatively, just four to five minutes. So pause when it's done. We'll take a look at it. Okay, the render has been done. So you can either click close or open it, or when you click on that search, it directly take you to where you save the picture. Okay, so this is the render. So you can now transfer this picture, send to your client, take a view. I think this is clear enough. Yeah, you can do better than this. Mm. You can come back, close, and get another view again. Any view that you choose to have, you will. Okay. 
can see render this Okay, another another view is done again. When you click here, you can now transfer this to your system, send it to your client, and the rest. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any problem, you get back to me.